I'm the Toy Forever, and you're watching another video by iPod King Carter. Y'all dudes stay up on this video games all day while your girl is in the kitchen cooking and cleaning. It's rough being a bitch sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, and if you want to become a part of Team IKC, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, boo. Signature skills on 2K13 was a big part of our game. It brought a different element to the game. Uh, so we brought it back for 2K14. We introduced a few new ones uh, that we really feel like are going to hit different parts of the game that we didn't actually get to last year. One of the main parts is uh, the pick and roll game. Um, pick and roll obviously is a very big part of the NBA and so we created one for the ball handler and one for the actual screener. So we've got the pick and roll maestro. He's the guy that handles the ball in the pick and roll. He'll get a little bit of a boost um, on his passing off the pick and roll and his shooting. And we've got the screen outlet. He's the guy that's actually going to be setting the screen for you. And so if you can actually find a team that has both of these guys, or you can combine a team with both of these guys, you can create a pretty powerful pick and roll game in NBA 2K14. When the community guys came in, one of the signature skills that they enjoyed the most was what we call Flashy Passer. It actually complements the new Flashy Pass stick that we have. You can throw some super sick passes on the legs, behind the back, accurate passes with the Flashy Passer. We, you know, we're pretty strict about what you can get away with, but once you pull off that pass, it's pretty amazing. Last year we had a, a signature skill called Scrapper, and it actually encompassed both rebounding and hustle plays. We actually wanted to split that apart because we felt like some guys were good at the scrapping stuff, and some guys were good at rebounding, so we kind of split that up, and now we kept Scrapper basically as it was, except took the rebounding stuff out, and we created a Tenacious Rebounder. Tenacious Rebounder is going to win your box out battles, he's going to obviously try box out and lose more often, and he's going to be able to rip rebounds from the air a little bit better than most players. One of the new signature skills we created on the defensive side of the ball is the pick dodger. He's a guy that doesn't get caught up on screens very easily. And we have different resolutions when a player hits a, hits a guy on a screen. He can either go around it or under it, but sometimes he gets clobbered by it. Well, a pick dodger actually has an easier time going over it and around it, and uh, he can keep up with the ball handler a little better. Personally, my favorite new six skill that we brought this year is what we call one-man fast break. Um, there's a lot of guys in the NBA that can take the rebound and go coast to coast, weave in through traffic and finish, you know, finish with a, an awesome layup or a dunk. And so we really wanted to model that this year and we created the new six skill called One Man Fast Break. When you pre-order NBA 2K14, you get one extra signature skill in the King James bonus pack. We called it the LeBron Coast to Coast skill. It's actually a little bit of a one man fast break and a little bit of finisher. It essentially gives you the one man fast break skill on the way up and down the court and then it combines that with what we had last year, the finisher, when you're finishing the actual fast break. Just like last year, we're very excited about the signature skills that we brought to you in 2K14. Uh, we really felt like we hit some of the major parts of gameplay again this year. Um, we really think you're going to enjoy the new skills that we brought you. NBA 2K14 comes out October 1st. Go get it. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Hoppa King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I know that a lot of you have been waiting on this video. It's time for me to talk about the signature skills that are going to be added to NBA 2K14. Now, I'm going to try to give you guys as much insight as I can. And I also want to raise a couple questions. Now, the first signature skill that I want to talk about is the pick and roll maestro. Now, this has been added to NBA 2K14 as a ball handler boost for the pick and roll situation. Now, after the pick and roll is initiated, after you either come off the pick or you know you take the pick and go the other way, you'll get a three point boost in your shooting attribute and your passing attribute. Now, I know a lot of people probably have the question as in, okay, what if I'm taking a screen from the three point line, do I get a three point boost in a three point shot? Or if I'm, you know, getting a screen at the top of the key, do I get a three-point boost in my medium shot? Well, that I do not know. We won't be able to tell that until the game comes out. Also, I know a lot of people are also going to ask, well, is there a level one through three in this signature skill? Or is this just a standard six skill that you just get and it's only one level? So, you know, that's like a lot of questions are raised because 2k didn't answer that in their live stream today or well yesterday as you saw it but uh pick and roll maestro will be one of the signature skills that david ipod king carter my point guard is gonna have like without a doubt now the next signature skill i want to talk to you guys about is the screen outlet now this is the other side or the other person on the side of the screen now of course these are people like kevin garnett 
Blake Griffin, you know, most likely power forwards and centers. Now, usually small forwards don't come up and set a screen unless it's in a certain situation, but most of the time it's power forwards and centers when you call for a screen. Now, this player will get a four-point boost in a shooting attribute, which means if KG is coming off a pick and he's at the top of the key, his sweet spot on the elbow, he's going to knock down that shot probably about 90% of the time with that nice four-point boost. Now, uh, one thing that I want to tell you guys about six skills that I've noticed in NBA 2K13 and 2K14 if you have a maxed out guy and let's say he's athletic and you want like dead eye or, you know, something like that that gives you a point boost, you really don't want to max your guy out and also put a signature skill on him because what's going to happen is the signature skill isn't even going to get used. Like it's, it's going to be like a null and void. Like it, they basically cancel each other out. So for people that have like, a uh, dimer or something like that and you got a 99 pass what do you need dimer for dimer gives you a boost but it really does, it's not going to help you because you are maxed out but uh yeah that's the screen outlet uh signature skill it's pretty good for people that want to make big men in the league as my players Okay, the next signature skill that I want to tell you guys about is the flashy passer signature skill. Now, I wasn't able to say this in my flashy passing uh, video and teaching you guys how to pass. But what I can tell you is now that, you know, basically when you do a flashy pass, you, you really have to be like a point guard, a shooting guard that can pass small forwards such as LeBron James to actually throw these beautiful passes. Now... The one thing about these flashy passes is if you pass it at the wrong time, you're going to send your teammate out of bounds. You're going to throw it out of bounds. You're going to it's going to roll off somebody's foot or something. You, you never know what would happen. So basically, this signature skill is to help those guys that may have a low passing rating or even guys that have a high passing rating that want to zip the ball in in those tight places whereas though you know they probably wouldn't have got it so it raises a 60 percent a chance added on to already whatever chance you have to get that pass through now i really don't like the fact that it, it goes with percentage because I would like it to have a boost as in, like, say, a boost in bounce passing or a boost in, you know, like, I, that's what I want to see. I don't want to see a percentage because when you think about it, what percentage do you have when you throw a flashy pass? Do you have a 100% chance? Do you have a 90% chance? Do you have an 80% chance? You don't know what chance you have at throwing a pass. So it's like this. If you got a person like, say you make a power forward and you like, man, I want to throw flashy passes. Do you equip flashy passer? And since you have a 40% chance of making that pass, when you add it an, another 60, that's 100. So it's like, wh what's going on here? So I really want to know what flashy passer signature skill is more about because with that, with the percentage, you, you just don't know what you're getting. Okay, guys, the next signature skill I want to talk to you guys about is the tenacious rebounder. Now, I know a lot of people are like, hold on, this is just like Scrapper. Well, if you guys watch the video, if you listen to what he said, Scrapper has been split up. So basically, you have Scrapper and Tenacious Rebounder. Scrapper is for those guys on the hustle side of the ball, guys that die for those loose balls. Whenever a loose ball is on the floor, they immediately, like their spider senses, be tingling. Now, Tenacious Rebounder are for those guys that have great timing, that need to grab rebounds more and able to box. Oh, man. I'm so glad that they actually put this inside a tenacious rebound to re rebounder to show you guys that you can actually box out in this game like boxing out will actually have an effect so with tenacious rebounder when you want to go in and you want to get a rebound you have a 50 percent chance increase in winning the box out battle and you know poking on the loose balls to get the rebounds and i'm hoping that you don't you still not playing volleyball you know when you go and grab the rebound but from what I've heard, that Tenacious Rebounder basically adds the 50% and you actually not jump higher, but I guess your timing is much better or it's a little bit easier for you to grab a rebound because I know people like like QJB, for instance, his timing for rebounds is crazy. You know, um, also, boy, D-Man unit, when you, when you catch an 
um, rebounds and dunking it back with putback dunks and putback layups, you have to have great timing for that already. So, you know, timing on top of a signature skill, that's crazy. It's, it's, it's unreal. But Tenacious Rebounder is definitely something that you would need if you want to get triple doubles and stuff like that. All right, the next signature skill I want to tell you guys about is the Pick Dodger. Now, this signature skill helps you out against people that have stuff like Brick Wall or even those guys that try to abuse the pick and roll. Now, the thing about this signature skill is what's going to happen is whenever a, a pick comes, Either you have, like like I said, a spidey sense on one of the other signature skills. It's like you have some type of spidey sense where as though you can go under the screen, you can go over top of the screen, you can, you know, get out of the way of the pick that's coming. It's like you have a better sense of what's going on on the court and you won't get hit, you know, by that screen. And now I'm not saying that it's going to be a signature skill where you equip it and you automatically can't be stopped when it when it comes to a pick and roll like you could just go right around it no i'm not saying that but it gives you a better chance now if you just moving your stick back and forth chasing a player and you get caught in the pick don't expect pick jo pick dodger to save your life 100 percent of the time you feel me that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is this right here gives your player a better chance maybe with awareness and with agility whereas though he can get out of the way of the pick a little bit easier now we are coming down to our final two signature skills now this signature skill has been added and it's called one man fast break now this signature skill is great for cherry pickers <laughs> i'm sorry i had i had to say it for guys that don't want to grab a rebound uh you could just take off and probably do your thing but i wish with one man fast break i wish it would be more of you have to grab a rebound in order for this signature skill to take effect that's what i actually would like but this right here it gives you a six point boost in speed quickness ball handling oh my god so that means on a fast break you completely unstoppable now like i said before in the um earlier ones for those people that have maxed out speed, maxed out quickness, maxed out ball handling. If you if your speed and quickness can get to a 99, you really ain't going to need one man fast break because the only thing that's going to get boosted is your ball handling. It's not like your speed and quickness can go to 105. It maxes out at 99 and will not go any further. So for you guys out there that's going to be maxed out on either ball handling and quick like take take this for instance. Athletic point guard, speed, quickness, maxed out, ball handling, maxed out. What do you need? What do you need one man fast break for? You the point guard. You're supposed to run to the ball during a rebound and call plays and set up your stuff. You ain't supposed to just take off. So one man fast break is gonna be one of those signature skills people are gonna equip because they're like, yo, I need it. But after a while they're gonna be like, I really don't need it. So you know, but uh next up, the signature skill you guys has have all been waiting for which is funny this is funny this is the actual lebron james official signature skill for when you pre-order nba 2k14 now a lot of people have been asking the question well what if i pre-order for next gen will i get this i'm hoping so because you know they're allowing people to pre-order the game for next gen as well but basically this signature skill right here this ain't nothing but a dumbed down one man fast break with a little twist to it. Now, this is why I say this. You can take the ball coast to coast, just like in one man fast break, but you can finish with contact, which means when you're running the ball and you see a guy backing up into the paint and you know he's going to try to hit you or foul you or contest the shot, layup, dunk, or whatever, you actually have a little finisher equipped during that situation. Now, I want to I want to dissect this signature skill because instead of like an, instead of you know how one man fast break where you get a boost in s by six points you only get a boost of four points for ball handling speed and quickness right then they give you a little finisher effect when you probably either get within the key towards where you might you know take a contested shot or you got to go in for a contested layup or a contested dunk they give you a little finisher okay that's cool that's all dandy that's a great signature skill but what about the people that just just say oh well, i don't need that i could just get one minute fast break and also this is the big thing 
what happens when people equip finisher to complement, say, posterizer, and they got one man fast break? Ain't no reason to get LeBron coast to coast. And then let's put it like this: say you get LeBron coast to coast, but you need finisher for every other situation. What happens to your actual finisher signature skill during a coast to coast situation? Does it complement the LeBron coast to coast? Or does the light not even flicker above on your HUD at all? That's that's one big question that a lot of people are probably going to be having. And another thing, this is this, before I get up out of here, before I leave, this is one big thing a lot of people are going to be asking. What is up with the glitch signature skills from NBA 2K13? Now, they said the embargoes have been lifted. So I can tell you guys this. I asked the devs one-on-one. -on -one, I said, yo. It was a lot of signature skills that happened to be glitched when you got to level three. And I named all the signature skills that I could that happened to be feel glitched, were glitched, may have been glitched. Anything that was level three, it just seemed like it didn't work with how level two was. So, you know, I told them all about that. And the funny thing is when they looked at me and they responded, they responded like they didn't know that these signature skills were glitched at a level three or at whatever, you know, level they may have been at. So I actually kind of put them onto it. And to me, I thought out of, you know, how the 2K community talks about, you know, signature skills being glitched as much as we bitch them on Ronnie and LD. They seem like they really didn't know. So, you know, they all huddled up and he was like, yo, check that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Zimmerman hollered at Wayne. Wayne hollered at Jones. They was like, yo, we handle that. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, signature skills won't be glitched for NBA 2K14, but we have to keep our hopes high. Um, but this is IKC signing out. I don't want to keep you guys for too much longer, and I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace. Yerp. Yeah, this is Siri. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.